Hello everyone, this is Arohi, your instructor and welcome to the very first video of Python for Data Science program. In this program, you will learn the basics of Python like what I first of all will start with the syntax and then I'll teach you what is list, tuple and dictionary. We'll also see what are strings and different methods of strings. We'll talk about loops and statements. I'll show you how functions work, right? And then we'll see what are different modules, how to import modules, how to write your own module and then how to use if you already have a module, right? So all these things I'll show you in this particular program. So first of all, let's install Python. So for installing Python, just open a browser and write here, download Python, download Python. So when you'll write this, you'll get the very first link www.python.org. Just open this link. When you'll open it, just scroll down and over here you can see the different versions of python and you can choose whatever version whichever version you want to install but i'll recommend you to go for the latest version so let's suppose we want to install this python 3.8.7 so click on this download so when you'll click on this download will again be redirected to the another page this is the page and when you'll scroll down you'll get under this files over here, you can see we are having Windows installer 32-bit and 64-bit. Just click on this Windows installer 64-bit. When you'll click on it, so this is how this uh, downloading process gets started. You will get the executable file after it. So I already have the this Python, so I'm canceling this process. So once you get this exe file, executable file, the next thing is to install Python. Now how to install the Python? When you click on that um, executable file, you'll get this kind of window. So you need to select install now and you have to check this add Python to path. You need to click it over here. All right. So when you click from here and you uh, just selected this install now and just follow the process like next, next, next until this uh, installation process get finished all right so once you install the python guys this that's it this is how you can install python right now we have installed the python the next thing is to check whether this python get installed successfully or not so for that you need to open a command prompt just open command prompt and type command python space hyphen hyphen version over here you'll get the python version you can see the python version uh, the python version which i'm using is 3.6.8 so this is how you'll get a python version over here so now we have successfully installed the python version the next thing is uh, you know uh, now you want to write a code so for writing a code we need some ide using you know using that ide only we'll be writing a code and executing it right so you have to install this Jupyter lab and how you can install this Jupyter lab by writing pip space install space Jupyter lab in your command prompt means you just need to write this thing copy from here and just write here pip install Jupyter lab and enter this thing will get installed once you install it you need to now you want to open this jupyter notebook to write a code so for that you just need to write this jupyter hyphen notebook so my code is in d drive so that's why i'm going in uh, d drive and i'm typing jupyter hyphen notebook and enter this will open the jupyter notebook and jupyter notebook will open on this browser so these are the different folders of my d drive right now let's suppose you want to open a file, you want to create a Jupyter notebook and you want to write a code in it. So just click on this new, new and then Python 3. Here you can write your code. All right. So I already have a code to save time. So I'll be opening that code to show you the functionality. So my code is in, okay. So 
so this is my code so the very first thing we are doing in this jupyter notebook is see first of all let me show you how you can create cells in it cell simply means where we are writing a code all right let's suppose i'm just clicking on it and this plus right this plus means you can create a new cell as many time you'll click on this plus those many cells will get created and how you can uh, delete the cell let's suppose i want to delete this cell click on it and then select this that cell will get deleted so this is how you can create and delete the cells now let me show you how to you know print the values in python you just need to use this print you just need to write print and then parenthesis this is a syntax this is how you print anything in python and suppose you want to print hey then control enter see when you are writing a uh, code in jupyter notebook to see the output you press control enter okay so this is how we are getting output over here hey right so this is how you can print now let's suppose you want you have a variable over here this pi forward is a variable and we have this string in this variable so again i want to print this uh, string so but this string is present in this pi forward variable just write print and then parenthesis and here the variable name which is storing your string right this is how you can print the um, print you can use print command all right now let's talk about variables how to declare a variable in python see declaring variable in python is very very easy there is no need to write which data type it is like int let's suppose a is equal to 100 in other languages in java or other languages we need to write int a is equal to 100 right we need to define the data type in the front of the variable then only we declare the variable but python is very very easy you just need to write the variable name a is a variable equals to 100 so it is understood uh, all, to our python uh, interpreter or compiler that if the value is 100 that means this variable is storing a integer value there is no need to mention that yourself okay a is equal to 100 now let's suppose you want to print it just write a and to see the output you can write control enter and we are getting the output over here right and see i'm writing a over here you can even write print a this will also give you the output all right and guys see always remember that the name of the variable must always start with either letter or an underscore so we, over here we are start, uh, you know starting the variable name with a letter and we can even start the variable name with underscore like this underscore a equals to 100 and then i'm printing underscore a and it is giving me the output all right but see over here in this line i'm writing hyphen a equals to 100 this will give us a error because only underscore is acceptable as a variable starting you cannot write any other special character or symbol in front of the variable all right so this is a wrong way of declaration okay and always remember the variable name cannot start with a number means let's suppose if you are writing 1 a so 1 is a number variable cannot start with the number so it will also give us a error throw a error invalid syntax all right and guys variable names are case sensitive means if you are writing this pi forward in small and you are writing pi forward in capital these two things are considered will get considered as a two different variables okay let me show you how so over here i have a variable pi forward this is in small case right and it is storing a string while printing i have written the variable name but i have written p capital so as python variables are case sensitive so it will give us an error 
this p is capital over here but in the variable we have whole variable in uh, lower case so it will give us a error so this is what variables are now install python on your pc and try the code which we have discussed today and in my next video in my next lecture i'll explain you we will study practically what a list tuple and dictionary thank you